friends, welcome back to another video. It is currently the middle of Mercury retrograde. We have a lot of them. Some friends have <laughs> been telling me, I feel like it's always Mercury retrograde. And that's because it happens like three or four times a year, right? Like every three months or something like that. So I'm going to talk a little bit about Mercury. Um, and then we'll get into a reading as well. Um, in fact, I have a very special Mercury retrograde deck that I'll tell you about when we get there. But first, let's talk about the planet Mercury. At the time of this recording, we are entering Gemini season. Um, Gemini happens to be connected with Mercury. Gemini and Mercury. Mercury, the planet of communication. Um, <laughs> There's a lot, you know, in tarot, it's also the, uh, represented by the magician. Um, in cardology, Mercury represents the ruler of the first 13 years of our lives. So Mercury is all about impressions and how we assign meaning to things based on how we are brought up, our environment, our parents, our everything everything. So that's why when Mercury goes retrograde, you hear a lot of people talking about like blast from the past. And maybe it's not something from coming back to you, like the same person or the same exact situation or, you know, the, the memories exactly, you know, from that early stage in life, that first stage, but it could be other people or situations representing those early things. So that's why it's like our minds, uh, mentally we go back in time to reveal something about how we think and how we communicate based on where we're from. And this is just sort of like a general about Mercury, but what I'll say about this specific time and at the time of this recording, it's end of May 2022 we're entering Gemini season where we are in Gemini season now Gemini new moon is coming up next week the other um, how do I say the other things that are happening at this time are really wanting you to look at either with fascination or with complete rejection, something about your past, something about where you're from, something about your origin, something that really clues you into who you are, who you are becoming, who you have been. Okay, so with that premise is how we'll get into today's reading. And I'm gonna switch up the um, You'll see, there'll be another angle. We're gonna get a second angle on this reading because we're using a brand new deck today. And by brand new, I mean brand new to me. It's not new at all. In fact, I found this in a little library. You guys know little libraries, those little boxes that people put in front of their homes to share books and stuff. One winter eve, it was snowy as hell. And I was like actually walking to get on the train to go somewhere, I think I was going downtown, and I just happened to stop and, and pick this up. It's a full set of cards, except that it's missing Mercury, the planet. So I'll show you how this deck looks like and how it works, but essentially it's a three card draw, one planet, one sign, and one house. And in this video, we're gonna do a you pick a you pick reading. So we'll do three readings total. Um, it'll be A, B, and C. And then that way you can derive some sort of message from this reading, which is what this period of time is actually all about. It's about asking the question, what am I not seeing? What am I not hearing? What message are you supposed to be receiving that has maybe not come in and you want to open yourself up to a message, an important message that's been overlooked? We'll get it right now. 
Maybe it's not been overlooked. Maybe you'll get exactly what you expect. You know? But yeah, Karma Cards, a new age guide to your future through astrology. And I, I mean, I look at this and I'm like, yeah, new, I don't know what new age is. Um, new age is really just like ancient, you know, ancient stuff. It's astrology is not new age. And so um, it's like the very first ways that we as a species assigned meaning to our lives, to our purpose, to this to like our existence on this planet. So we could take that as like a macro cosm of um, this reading Merc and, the, and this period of time, this Mercury retrograde. What are we going to reflect back on? <laughs> and will it be new age for us or will it be like, oh no, yeah, this is ancient stuff. This is my roots. We're, we're really going to be looking at the roots of something, the roots of desire, the roots of uh, where you're going, what you want in life. Or just something about where you come from. Okay, so <clears throat> take some time right now while I switch gears just to pick A, B, or C. Or one, two, or three. A, B, C, one, two, three. And think about whether your question, because you, you can ask a question or just a situation you're thinking about right now, th th give assign it um, one of two qualities, one being more action oriented and another being more introspective. Is this a feeling or is this action you want to take? Okay. And then think about what kind of support you're really looking for right now. Are you looking for spiritual support, mental support, or physical support? Because each reading is going to have six messages. Three action-oriented, three feelings-oriented, and each one of those three is either spiritual, mental, or physical. So, just think about that. One, two, or three. Pick one. Just pick one. Action or feeling. Pick one. <laughs> Spiritual, physical, or mental? Physical, spiritual, or mental? Just give it a try. When I do this for myself, I just sort of lay out the cards and see what comes for me and then like what feels the most like it's appropriate. Or I just, I read it and take them all, take all of the messages and then later decide what's most relevant to you. That's fine too. Okay, let's do our readings. Okay, let's get started. Uh, group one or A, this is for you. Um, got planets, signs, and houses. And the way that this works is that we will pull one of each and form some complete sentences for us to think about. So first up, planets. Planets are the characters. Here we go. Venus. This is Venus. Actually, I'll put this underneath. Signs. In Capricorn. in your second house. Yep. Oh boy. So check this out. We'll string these sentences together. Uh, you can see that there's two sides to this, blue and red. We've got blue upright in the moment, so we'll start with the feeling side. Um, for spiritual support, the attraction of dedication to achieve your beliefs. <laughs> the attraction of dedication to achieve your beliefs. <clears throat> this is almost like you're attracted to some to your own dedication to achieve a, a, a version of some a, a version or a vision of what you believe in. Well, it's good. 
uh, pleasure from focusing on what you value. Yep. Good times resulting from the rules imposed by your resources. Hmm. Yeah, it's sort of like work with what you got. So that's the physical, okay? So we see the SMP, spiritual, mental, physical support. The mental was pleasure from focusing on what you value. Mm -hmm. Of course, focusing, using your mind to um, be grateful for what you have. Um, physical, good times resulting from the rules imposed by your resources. Interesting. All right, let's flip it around. So if you're feeling more action oriented, here's what we do. <laughs> Spiritual support. Cherish your goals patiently. Ooh. Patiently. Okay. Uh, mental support. Enjoy the day-to-day -day reality of what you want. And physical support. Charm, art, and beauty are the way to use the most business-like way and get what you need. Hmm. Interesting. I feel like it's this, this last one, this physical is sort of like charm, like business-like and charm. This is really saying, I feel like there's a gentleness to this. I know it's Capricorn in its second house. But Venus is really, I feel like, wanting to introduce like a softness in the way that you go about doing things. Um, it's not saying to compromise what you value, what you feel you need or you want. But see how it's got like patiently in here. Yeah, I do like to read these in a more holistic way. But it was an interesting experiment to see what you chose and um, where... What, what sentence you got. You can leave me a comment to be like, what did you choose and how it resonated versus if you got something that maybe was more, you saw something that, would, that spoke to you more than what you chose. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of all of this. All right, thanks group A. Hey group B, we're on to you. Okay, so here are our cards and this is how it's gonna work. We have three piles of cards here, the planets, signs, and houses. The way that this works is the planets are like the character, the signs is the, uh, the quality, the personality, and the houses is the stage in your life upon which they behave, they act. So we'll start with the planets. And again, Mercury is missing. This is why this is my Mercury retrograde deck. We'll just pull one card each and see what comes out. Neptune. Okay. Neptune. In Sagittarius. Well, this one really wanted to make itself this one in the fifth house. Yeah, fifth house of, of creativity. Okay, let's read these. Now, the first thing you'll notice is that there's a red side and a blue side. This is where it comes in uh, the, the action oriented versus the feeling oriented. We'll read the red side first since it's upright for me the way that it came out. And then we'll go to the next one. You might also notice that there is an SMP here on the sides that represents the spiritual, mental, and physical support that I mentioned earlier in the video. So I am just going to read all of these. Let me know what you chose, um, how it resonated, and if there's any other messages that came out that actually struck you more than the one that you chose. Okay, let's get started. We have for spiritual support. Inspire others with your highest ideals, with the trust of a child. Mm. With the trust of a child. Yeah, so there's a, a childlike, there's a return to some sort of like childlike wisdom actually here. That is, um, share it like everyone will accept it. 
share it, like everyone will accept it, will believe it. That's interesting. Uh, mental support. Be prepared to sacrifice for the rules of fun, romance, and making art. What are the rules of fun, <laughs> romance, and making art? The rules are that there are no rules, but there are a few rules. Be prepared to sacrifice for. You know, yeah, of course you can sacrifice. You sacrifice other things to have more time for fun. Sacri be prepared to sacrifice for the rules of fun, romance, and making art. Okay, and now physical support. Yielding is the only way to get it out to the world and do it dramatically. Yielding. Yield. You know, Neptune is a very spiritual planet. Um, it rules Pisces. It's like really dreamy. It's interesting that the action card on a physical sense, in the physical line here, says yielding. Yielding as in, like, pause. Pause before moving forward. Um, and doing it dramatically. So I feel like there's a bit of tension growing in, in more of the physical sense here. That's interesting. Uh, Sag energy just wants things to grow. So fun, romance, and making art is the subject for group B. Or sorry, this the stage, like the, the part of your life that's activated by this Mercury retrograde. And it's wanting you to think more deeply about how to expand this area. That's really cool. All right, let's flip the table. Now we have the feeling side. Again, SMP, spiritual, mental, physical. We start up here. For spiritual support, the idealization of insights to understand the power of love. The idealization of insights to understand the power of love. This just feels like clarity, like spiritual clarity. Like understanding a, the deeper meaning of the power of love. That's dope. Mental support. Confusion regarding the wisdom of investment gambles and other games. Yeah, you know, I think a lot of us are really confused about the way that money works today. <laughs> I love how this is supposed to be framed as like, uh, if you want mental support, you want to like reflect on, you know, you want to reflect mentally and if this is what you chose, like confusion regarding the wisdom of investment gambles and other games. What is the wisdom of investment gambles? The wisdom of like knowing a market, you know, a market um, activity, a market trajectory. So there's confusion in that. Yeah, maybe the market isn't behaving the way that you want. Maybe you do have money somewhere and you're confused about what's happening with your money right now. Um, so sit with that, sit with, sit with what that is supposed to mean for you about how you're using your money. Cause I don't know, only, you know, okay. And then physical support sacrifice resulting from the understanding of your creations. Hmm. Interesting. This is the second time we got Sacrifice. Sorry, like, um, group A also got sacrifice about something. You know, this is supposed to be physical introspective support. This is about knowing when to walk away from something to pursue something else. How you understand what you create in this world does lead you down a path and it does make you sometimes have to choose one thing over another. Maybe that's what it's referring to. Physically leaving something behind or choosing to disconnect because of a greater under understanding or awareness of what you are here to do, here to create. Okay, this has been your Mercury Retrograde <laughs> reading group B. Let me know in the comments what, what resonates. 
Okay, welcome Group C, last but definitely not least. Welcome to your Mercury Retrograde reading. All right, so this is how it's gonna work. We got three piles of cards here. They're all actually different. This one is a, a pile of planets, this one is signs, and this one is houses. Planets are like characters. The signs are like qualities, are personalities. Um, and houses is, you can imagine, a stage upon which the action occurs. So we'll pull one of each cards and read the sentences that um, show up. And I'll show you how it works. First up, planets. Oh, we got Neptune. Neptune, Neptune. Spiritual, deep, and dreamy. Next we have signs. Scorpio. Hi, Scorpio. Intense. <laughs> Very deep. In the 10th house. Okay. Ambition. Let's see group C. Ah, okay. So the first thing you might notice is that there's like a reflection of like a, of this red bar and the blue bar down below. This is the action oriented side. This is the introspective side here. So depending on which one you chose, that's where it's going to appear. I'm actually going to read all of the messages. And so when you get to yours, just you know, pay attention, um, but otherwise definitely listen to all of the messages and see if there's one that resonates for you more than another. The way we get our spiritual, mental, physical is this SMP at the top, spiritual support, mental support, physical support. And then we have the same at the bottom, spiritual, mental, physical. Since the red is upright for me, that's what I'll read first and then we'll get into the introspective one. So starting with the spiritual support, we have inspire others with the extraordinary power of prayer responsibly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so don't flaunt your spirituality all over the place because people might be like, what the hell? <laughs> uh, the extraordinary power of prayer though, you know, let's, yeah. <laughs> um, mental support, be prepared to sacrifice for the highest and lowest aspects of success. Yeah. The highest and lowest aspects of success. So setting yourself up for success does not mean, you know, it doesn't only mean like make room in your life for good things to happen. It's be uh, mentally fortified for when you are challenged because you will be challenged when success in anything is wanting to enter into our life. This could be highs and lows. I like that this is under like mental, it's, it's under mental support because it's saying, be prepared for your low periods as well. And you gotta push through. Uh, physical, yielding is the only way to control the situation and become a person of power and status. That's interesting. I feel like it's suggesting to physically withhold in some way. Um, I feel like, as in, say no. If you feel like you're being controlled or manipulated somehow, the best way to resolve that situation uh, in, a very real, in a very real way is to actually take control, step into your power and say no, no thank you. Yup. Yup, group C. All right, let's flip the table and see what's on the other side. Okay, starting again at the top for spiritual support. The idealization of purification to resurrect your destiny. Okay, so spiritually what's going on is you're imagining how to remove unnecessary things from your life so that you can focus on why you're here. Whatever you feel most drawn to, when I say that, know that that's your answer. 
Um, but right now it's Neptune, so we're not in action mode. This is all of our, our feelings mode. This is about like really forming the full idea in your mind as to what it is you want to achieve. What is your destiny? We're idealizing at this stage. Okay, mental support. Confusion regarding the secrets of where you're going. <laughs> confusion regarding the secrets of where you're going. Yeah, if there's confusion in secrets, that's for sure Mercury retrograde. Here you go, where you're going. Confusion regarding the secrets of where you're going. Um, I feel like this is really, this is, <laughs> if you're confused, that is like some information there. Like what is the secret? Is it your secret? Is it other se people's secrets? Feel it's your secret. Confusion regarding the secrets of where you're going. Uh, maybe the problem is that it is a secret. Maybe maybe you could try sharing your thoughts with somebody. You know, uh, like get it out of you so that it be can become a real manifestation for you. Okay, and physical support, sacrifice resulting from the power of your career. What? Sacrifice resulting from the power of your career. Yeah, I feel like it's asking you to look at where your work, your career and ambition has taken over your life. Where has it caused you to sacrifice things either in a good, in a positive way or a negative way? Like there, because there's, we definitely all sacrifice things for our careers. I don't think that, well, and this is me personally speaking, I don't believe that everyone agrees we should be working as much as we do, um, as much as we are, as much as it has become necessary that we do to be here. So the physical support, the, the, the physical introspective support is about, you know, reflect on the sacrifice that is resulting from the power of your career. What is its hold on you? That is a very interesting note to end on. Scorpio in the 10th house. All right, thanks group C. Leave me a comment, let me know what you chose, if it resonated, and if there's anything else that came out that actually spoke to you more. All right, that's what I got. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you liked these uh, karma cards. Um, and what you thought, uh, remember to subscribe to get your weekly dose of energy readings via YouTube. Um, and I'll see you on the next video.